All right, everyone. Dave Hamling, Lurie Days Automotive Restoration. Jason and I are standing here discussing well, how we're going to repair this frame rail. Uh, this is a frame rail repair that uh, I've already said in the past that it looks like shit. And, you know, if we, I really stand here and look at it and decipher it, I'm going to tell you what they've done. Here is the old original, factory original, panel, frame rail. This patch, for lack of a better term, they set over it. Okay, there's probably a rust hole, very much like these, underneath this area. Did they repair this area? No, they didn't repair it. They put another layer over it. That's what they've done here. This is probably rotted out up here in this section, but the rest of it, I think they just capped it off. Now, as I was showing with a pick in an earlier video, I, I took a pick and stuck it down in here, and there's enough room across this whole area. When they remove the old floor pan, I think you're, we're going to end up, like you can see all these spot welds right here, and I think this, I think we're going to end up having another layer of metal between this frame rail and this floor pan. We're talking about fabricating a better quality patch panel to replace all this. But we're also discussing how are we gonna do that if we have another piece of metal sandwiched in between here and here. Okay, so this is kind of our tentative game plan uh, up in here there's a hole that's been shown in other videos uh, this needs to be fixed you can see it just above my finger it goes into the interior of the cabin uh, we are going to remove this cap off of here at that same point we're going to come back several inches uh, probably into this area someplace we're going to make an incision and try to remove that section of the frame rail. Uh, try to make incisions and cut it, but tr attempting not to interfere with that floor pan. Very difficult task. This is not easy. This is like a pretty serious pain in the ass repair. So, alongside of doing that, so we're going to have to do it in stages and try to just do it to the best of our ability, nice and cleanly as possible. Uh, and try to make it look as nice as possible. So, cleaning everything up, and I'm at, at a bang, bad angle. And it again, it's not easy to see, but this edge right here, if I, there's just not enough, yeah, kinda. You can see one, two, three, and four layers of sheet metal. And there should probably be at most maybe three right there, I'm guessing. Is there a flashlight? Bring it down here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You can kind of get a little bit better idea of how it looks. So, uh, Not pretty. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Yeah, it's not pretty, but we're going to try to attempt to make this look, not just look nicer, but we don't want moisture and oxygen creeping up in here and causing rust in this joint so there's things like that we want to fix and address and same thing here but we're also going to fix the hole that's in this area so we have a lot of things that we're going to be doing to make repairs on this little front section of frame rail okay so i've been gone for about maybe five ten minutes i ran to the store to go get some stuff and jason has cut out part of the old section of that uh, what do we call it a cap as opposed to a patch and as you can see uh, there's a nice big hole underneath it all Jason did and I'm going to use this as a pick or a pointing device uh, he made an incision across here came down with it and then made another incision just along the edge. 
so that we still have some of the ta uh, spot welds, tack welds, in place. But this here that you're seeing that's rusty and this other line that I'm following right here, that is actually an old cut line that somebody else did probably about 10 years ago. So the question is, did they really repair the rust that this car had? Well, they cut out a section of metal, put a cap over it, and then just tack welded it into place. And now you can kind of see how it looks. As we're doing our repair we have everything cut out and if you can watch the pry bar or the end of it you can see this whole panel moving and flexing and it's because right there at the tip of my finger is a rivet and there's a few others and uh, all they did is pop rivet clean metal onto old rusty metal and never never fixed any of it is that solid? That one's not. It's probably not once I break loose the CC and hold it. Yeah. As we've dug into this car, all we've found is more things to repair than anything else. Uh, initially, coming back, this is what we're going to repair is this small area where we have a hole that goes through into the interior but well here's the old metal right here and somebody this is a patch panel that somebody put in but and when they did this they rolled this corner over and then it's tack welded on in an area but this is a this is the this flange here should be part of this metal and it's not as you can see there it's torn all the way up through and then when Jason pries on that bar and you can even see it right over there see it opening up so and that's all just riveted to another piece of metal that's on the interior of the car so and that's their repair all right so here we go what well, started out as uh, us just coming in and repairing a small hole that was here that went through to the interior by the time we went and removed uh, part of the the frame rail and we removed the frame rail because uh, I tapped on a section of it with my hammer and poked through so uh, the frame was rotting out and it had a patch on it that just uh, it, it was a cap not a patch it was just something that they didn't take off the old metal they just put a uh, second skin over it and there's been a lot of that on this car so uh, in order to get in here and kind of just fix this one little hole we ended up finding that this here is all rotted out and it should this metal here should come up another inch or two and then fold over much like this does so this is all tore up and pretty pretty beat up from over the years but there's some holes in through this area right here uh, we are gonna fabricate a patch that's uh, how many inches is that probably like eight eight inches and from here over it'll be straight down and then I'll have one bend to it and it will replicate what should have come out of the factory and we will cut it from the interior of the car and cut around this uh, bend right here and then make a, a patch panel that will repair this car properly. All right, so Jason's in the middle of making a patch, uh, making a template for his patch to fit in this hole over here that, that we've been showing. And uh, while he's doing that, well, he was also at lunch, actually. I came through with an oil can, of all things, and applied a very small amount of Master Series Master Coat in all the seams. 
and that way I'm kind of hoping that it, it flows and seeps down into all these cracks and crevices that they had filled with seam sealer but instead I'm using a moisture cured urethane primer so uh, we'll see how it all ends up looking and I'm on the wrong side but you can see it down here in the side down in here and I came up across and up and this is this whole entire thing is going to get cleaned up again and we're also going to shoot the whole entire bottom of the car with master series before we go and apply monster liner to it so. right so here we go here's jason and here is a professional quality hatch panel made by oh wait look there again there he is that's a professional see professional there you go it's a good quality patch panel and we still have a frame rail to go it's gonna end up going over it so he's just cleaning up his welds right now so here i am kind of looking at the what is this the passenger side floor rail and if you look at in the picture and get my finger there's a line right here that comes up across and down and then there's a weld right here that's been ground down and you have all these other welds going across and this frame rail sits flush with the pinch weld on the rocker panel and what this is telling me and as I spin around here and make it across the bars Oh, sorry, got the finger in the way. You can also see, let me get my finger back in the picture, all these spot welds coming across. And then I come around and look in the front. Here, there's two pieces of metal coming down. And there's a second piece of metal here. I've just realized that this frame rail you're looking at is sitting over the old frame rail it also is a cap but not just a section of a cap this one goes the whole entire length of the car and that that explains why we have these big gaps over here filled with seam sealer this car again this is just a quick fix to probably what was a major problem with this car many many years ago it needed to be repaired and this is how they did it and the way they should have done it is take off the old patch panel or take off the old uh, this rail. is the patch that Jason has fabricated and welded in and it looks really nice uh, you can see obviously a weld seam here he has a whole bunch of plug welds that we did welding it onto the uh, I think this plate here is actually called a jacking point and underneath the jacking point there are three uh, oh lack of a better term stands or you know uh, supports jacking supports there we go that's the term I was thinking of and as I come around you can see that we've uh, got a nice contoured here and we fabricated it all in and this was actually built in a few different pieces folded it down and there's actually about two days worth of work in this we, we figure probably about 16 hours total so all right quick video demonstrating more of what we find on the mgb this is the passenger side rocker panel and this is an area of the car that has been repaired recently and if you see how Jason is picking the seam sealer out of the joints, you'll notice that there's a thin piece of metal behind the rocker panel. And my attitude is that's a remaining piece of the old rocker panel. They never trimmed the whole entire rocker panel off the car properly like they should have. So lately I've been shooting a lot of video footage of this frame rail. 90% of it nobody will ever see and it's all kind of like which video do I actually publish what sections of video do we use and what don't we use uh, 
So I am going through and shooting a lot of video footage because I want this to... I want to explain to people what you're getting when you take your car into a shop, a restoration shop, or... A, I don't even want to say that. Uh, be cautious, people. Uh, there are companies out there that are going to do work. Maybe it's they're doing the work down to your budget. And quite possibly, that might mean that, yeah, you're saving money, but are you really saving money? Uh, maybe you're saving money, but in 10, car, 10 years, your car is going to have uh, a lot more corrosion than it did when you took it there in the first place to have it repaired. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll, uh, I can't, can't do that. Okay. So what, what you're looking at here, you can see here on the edge of your screen, not the edge of your screen. Pardon me, I'm holding a tablet and not doing a very good job. Okay. This is the original jacking point. It's still on the car. Somebody purchased a second one and put it on as a cap over the old one. Now by sandwiching that many pieces of metal together, it's allowing a lot of oxygen and moisture to get trapped in between these multiple layers of panels. And yes, they did seam seal the heck out of this thing, but that doesn't matter. Uh, oxygen and moisture have a way of creeping up into there and continuously rotting out those panels. And they're extremely thin at this point. Now this work was done 10 years ago and you know, it's just gonna continue getting worse. We've, the customer's already spent more money than he wants to have to spend. And in fact, I mean, when the car came into this shop, it was actually in primer. We were told that all the sheet metal work was done, and... Unfortunately, it just doesn't, wasn't done well. So... This is a problem. He wants to keep this car. It's his baby. And, uh... How do I break it to them that, you know, your car still has a good amount of rust. We don't know what's underlying that, that uh, jacking plate, but we know there's corrosion under there. It's just a matter of how much is under there. 